Hello guys, good morning. How are you guys doing? Uh, I just woke up. Well, please do the needful. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification to get updates anytime of the day I upload. Well, guys, are you panicking? Because me, I'm panicking. Oh, I'm currently in a panic state because the cryptocurrency world is just continuously going down. Like, what is happening? Well, on the second note, honestly i'm not even panicked i don't care i don't care like i've always wished bitcoin drops i've always wished other currency drops so that i can buy that has always been my wish i have never wished that oh uh, uh bitcoin should continuously to go up of course i want it to continuously to go up but not now because i recently started my cryptocurrency journey and honestly for those of you who just started your cryptocurrency journey i know in your heart you want the cryptocurrency to drop so that you will quickly buy then you can be among those people who's going to benefit it later well if you check the chart bitcoin is dropping dodge bnb yen finance all the currencies are dropping as we speak no doubt about that but the fact is that are you guys panic i see a lot of mimic on social media and instagram saying yeah they are just panicked that they don't know what's going on but the fact is you don't need to be panicked me i, I am not i've always wished and pray all the cryptocurrency in this world dropped so why should I be panicked? No, I, I am not panicked. In fact, uh, this whole drop started with Elon Musk when he stopped Tesla from receiving Bitcoin as mode of payment for Tesla products. Yeah, obviously, that was where this thing started from. Then, uh, about a few hours ago, let me show you what happened. About few hours ago, this one was com is coming from China. They said Bitcoin falls further as China crack down on cryptocurrency. It said that the price of Bitcoin fell below thirty four thousand US dollar for the first time in three months on Wednesday after China imposed fresh crop on cryptocurrency. Beijing banned banks and payment firm from providing service related to cryptocurrency transaction it also warned investor against speculative crypto uh, crypto trading on tuesday it follows fall in bitcoin and more than 10 percent last week after tesla said it should it would no longer accept the currency on wednesday afternoon bitcoin recovered some ground although it wasn't stayed down 10%, uh, 10 percent uh 10 minus 10.4 percent at 38,000 us dollar meanwhile other digital currencies such such as uh, ITER, which act as the foil for the interim blockchain network and dogecoin lost as much as 22 percent and 24 percent respectively at the time, Tesla's share fell more than 30% on Wall Street, possibly because of the electric car electric car, car maker exposure to Bitcoin. The firm, run by the most, still holds around 1.5 billion worth of cryptocurrencies. BG cracked down. Well, guys, yeah, that was exactly, that is some of the big play that had earned in this uh, uh bitcoin going down but uh are you panicked i'm not panicked <laughs> like if i see people like they are panicking i'll be like come on i'll be praying for this for a long time i'll be praying for bitcoin to crash even possibly to ten thousand us dollar because i know i know the world is changing i know something definitely big is gonna happen and if you check if you really want to settle down go online read about this currency very well most especially the head of this currency that is bitcoin go and read about it 
you will know there were certain time people thought Bitcoin has finally reached this peak and it must crash. And it went so down. It went so down and yet it still went up. The world is changing. I just believe there's underplay in here. There are people, all those, all those uh, very well influential people trying to play politics with it. Yeah. They, 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 they want something and they are, they are the one passing the ball around. But well, I'm still going to wait. Is it the time to buy? Is it the time to buy? That is what people are asking me. Is this now the time to buy? To buy currency? Because obviously people are still buying. People bought the dip when it was uh, 20 million naira. Sorry, let me use uh, our home currency. When it was like 20 million naira, that is like 40,000 US dollar. People bought the dip. But it's still going deeper. Now it's like 38. That is now, now, now it's like uh, 18 million. That is, I'm using our own Nigerian currency to analyze this particular thing. That is, did I like uh, 18 million point five? And uh, that is like 38,000 US dollar. Then you see Ethereum 1.2. Then you see uh, BNB. Uh, Dogecoin still going down, Ripple, uh, so many Bitcoin cash, and check this uh, Ethereum Classic, Shiba Inu still going well down, that is just, uh, just that just coming up, it just recently came up, and Yen Finance went down from 34 million Naira, it went down in less than few hours. To 20 trillion million naira. So, guys, the question is now: Are you panicking? Let us be obviously. Let us be obviously honest. You who just started your cryptocurrency business, aren't you praying deep down inside your heart that cryptocurrency should crash? Aren't you praying deep down inside your heart that cryptocurrency should crash? Most especially Bitcoin and. Uh, dogecoin which is well spoken about and so many other currencies that you want to buy let's be honest so now that is crashing allow those people who have been from cryptocurrency business to to panic yeah they can't panic if they want to panic but we who, who, who just started our cryptocurrency business please why should we be, why should we be panicking we shouldn't be panicking guys in fact i am happy I am happy Bitcoin is crashing. I'm happy all the currencies are crashing because I want to buy the dip. I'm just still waiting patiently. But is it the time for me to buy the dip? Do I think that uh, Bitcoin will reach benchmark of 15 million? That is like, will it go down to 30,000 US dollar or 20,000 US dollar? Because that is exactly where I'm praying it should go. And uh, meanwhile, on for Dogecoin again, which I want to buy many quantity. Again, I want it to go as low as hundred naira. Yeah, I want it to go as low as hundred naira. So and uh, other currencies as well. In fact, after I'm done talking with you, I'm going to buy another. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm going to try to buy some currency as well because I think the dip is enough, so I I can just buy them. Guy, let me just honestly be. Uh, let me tell you on a honest note i said yesterday why everybody we were panicking do you know what check out this news i don't know how confirmed like how credible this news is check out this news it says 715 million worth of bitcoin were just move off of exchange in the last 10 minutes so one bought the deep Check out some review, some well-known people. Uh, Mike Castillo said, Entity, I control, I control, have now acquired 111,000 Bitcoin and have not sold a single Bitcoin forever. Though it's good to follow hot news, it's good to really, really do your research very well, but do not allow this bunch of messages online to because when you read about it too much i'm telling you 
it's going to really mess up with your mind. It's going to really mess up with your mind with the fact that it will be like, oh, this is the time to buy. This is the time to buy. Be like, oh, this is not the time to buy. But it's honestly good to keep tab, to be well informed, but do not allow it to mess up with your mind. That is the honest truth. Just be moderate about it and try as much as possible to keep calm. I am just telling you my whole personal experience, what I'm going to do. So it's not as if I'm giving you a clear lesson about whether you should buy or whether you should not buy. I'm just telling you what how we do. I'm still going to wait a little bit more longer for the dip. And if the Bitcoin, because it's not going up again, but I am sure it's going to go down later again. But yesterday it was 17 million, that is like 34,000 US dollar. Well, I'm still going to wait, guys. I'm still going to wait. I'm still going to wait. Hmm? Cryptocurrency forever. The world is changing. No, see, no matter how it is, huh? anything that is about to take over the world always have up and down. So, do if you check the history about the world, you know how things are going. You know things are about to change. Things are about to change. And the nature is telling you to be involved. Nature is speaking to you to be involved. But uh, just like everybody will say, please, do not use your house rent, your mother or your father's medical bill money. Do not use your child's school fees. Do not use your uh, insurance. Do not use your car. Sell off your car to buy any currency. Make sure you have extra money that you just one that you think you can lose to buy cryptocurrency. Like myself, I treat it like a Ponzi scheme. That is why I'm not worried. I have always treated it like a Ponzi scheme. Though this kind of Ponzi scheme is really, really catchy, undermining the future, knowing that everyone is talking about it. As long as people talk about it, guys, it will never go down. When I check the history, people usually bring this kind of boss and later it will all pass away. Bitcoin has always succeeded. Bitcoin, or that, uh, Bitcoin most especially, has always succeeded. And Bitcoin is the father of all coins. If Bitcoin survive, all other coins will survive. All other coins will survive, will take shape. So guys, I thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's a boy, Adam Slane, and uh, this is my channel, Ninja Boy. I hope I'll be able to tell you one or two things that you might not know about. So stay blessed and stay tuned.